Hey, welcome back lads. So there has been a load of new multiplayer content leaking out from the Vanguard Alpha and it shows us a couple of different interesting things like how insane the customization is going to be in the creator class and gunsmith. You see, some people are out here getting access to things that we're not supposed to see yet, like the creator class menu and even unlocking items that don't exist in the game, like the bazooka, a riot shield and even dead silence. Sadly, it looks like dead Silence is a field upgrade and not a perk. Oh, come on, man. Now, the mad lad who is leaking the other stuff is the Modern Warfare 2 ghost over on Twitter, and he has posted some images of the creator class menu itself, but I don't think we can show that here. It might be dangerous stuff, but he says there are about 60 up to 70 plus weapon levels for each well, weapon in the game, and that is about 70 attachments and weapon perks. Man, I thought people told me World War 2 was supposed to be restrictive, but here we are, like, that equals a lot more content and much more of a grind than both Cold War and Modern Warfare, which had about 50 weapon levels, right? Now, Ghost had even made a full list of every single attachment for the STG. I'm not gonna sit here and just read everything out, but it's on his Twitter if you want to go see. And also, don't forget that you can equip 10 attachments at a time, so this is definitely the most deep and in-depth gunsmith we have ever seen. I just hope the weapon leveling isn't as slow and painful as it is in Cold War. Now, another part of this whole gunsmith thing is camos, right? And Ghost hinted at camos, saying, oh boy, camos, but then... As far, as far as I'm aware, he didn't actually go on to say anything about them or leak anything, so, uh, not sure what the deal is, but alright. However, along these same lines about weapon customization, the bug in creator class menu does show some blueprints for the STG and the bar assault rifles, oh, and as well as one of the shotguns. So, we have had a little look into blueprints from the pre-order content, actually quite a few, and, oh no, I think they look kinda... Kind of alright, actually. No, kind of nice, kind of nice. And wait, is there supposed to be a handle there? It just, it, it doesn't look right. Like, what's it doing there? What? Finally, Ghost also says that the specialist streaks will return, so that is when you replace your kill streaks with more obtainable perks to become a super soldier, which I never really use. I don't normally run that, to be honest, but at the same time, it's good to have the option, right? And I guess that's kind of the takeaway, the lesson from today, that Vanguard has a lot of different customization options, and if you remember back to COD World War II a couple of years ago, it was the complete opposite, right? They tried to, like, change the perk system and the creator class system, and just ended up messing it up, like, it was very restrictive and just bad. So it's good to see that, you know, there's an improvement here. Anyways, that is about it for now, so stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.